What is going on everybody? It's your boy Milo79 and today I am playing on Zetsubo no Shima. I'm not here with Jinji today because I'm just doing a quick tutorial for the map Zetsubo no Shima because uh, out of everyone you know I'm the be the biggest zombie player ever on the channel. Well, <laughs> between me and Jinja I play a lot more zombies so I'm just giving you a short guide to all the basics on the map and what to do so we're just kind of starting off here in the main room. So what you do is you just you let all the zombies pour in just because of the drops you don't want the drops to stay inside and we'll be picking that bucket up later for later things. So you just kind of want them in the room at a count. You don't want to like kill them at the windows if you're questioning why. So now that uh, when I get 1250, I try to keep the zombie alive because we are going to be getting the Skullinan Sapway, which is pretty simple to get once you know how to do it. There's just four of these pedestals around the map, like I'm going back to here now, and they each have symbols on them. I'm just looking at the symbol from a distance because I was playing this earlier and um, so pretty much like that so they each have their own symbols and stuff like that so I then I headed over here and then there's you'll see these these are challenges you can see later on you can do them and they give you free stuff like like max ammo and stuff like that so you can see these four like bloody skulls on these pedestals and you can pick up the one that matches the pedestal that you were just looking at so I pick up the first one hit the first area and that's pretty much what you do is the, you're basically kind of um, the way the zombies work in this when you place them on the skull You'll see what they do now. They don't go for you. They go to stop the skull basically Because you're cleaning the skull even though killing all the zombies but cleaning the skull is like a bit weird But that's the way you do it. So uh, I'm just doing this on round one because it's the quickest way to do it round one one skull done out of four It's pretty simple the later two two of them are a lot harder to get to later on because they are out in the bunker Which is kind of pretty annoying to get to at times, but that's pretty much it so what, what you should just stay doing around the area, because if you probably, like me here, have one zombie left and you're just trying to avoid not killing them, just go around, try and see the ones with the green on them, kill them, and once they're done, you'll see what happens there, they just explode. Pick up your skull and then head back to the main pedestal, I'm running around, oh yeah, I was picking up the bucket. And buy an RK5 if you have the points for this second, the second ritual, because it's a bit annoying without it, because spiders spawn. So once I place the skull back down, we'll be hopping straight on to the next one. So here we are, we're going up to the left hand side of the map now instead of the right hand side. And you head in here where the two turbines for the planes are and then I memorized the pattern again. But this time I plant a seed and water with a bit of blue water that is in the bucket that I picked up at the time. So that I, oh yes, I also buy, well I buy quick revive I think after I finish the ritual. So then we head down here back again, pick up the skull like again. Uh, do the same, repeat, rinse, repeat. We're just gonna run back now here. Just head straight back. Oh god, this is so weird doing this on my own. But yeah, just whatever one was the same, I couldn't remember at the time what it was. It was just kind of looking around there as you see. Head back, do the ritual. Pretty simple, pretty basic stuff. The reason, if I didn't say it already, to buy, to buy the RK5 is pretty simple. Because in this ritual spiders start spawning out of the green holes in the ground and they're pretty annoying to take out with the MR6. So I just kind of avoided doing that so I just bought an RK5 just try and speed things up pretty much and like I, I was thinking when I was playing at the time like not a lot like I was like where the hell are spiders and then like oh look at this cunt just comes out of the ground. I just like piss off douchebag. Then I just finish off I, I, and I do the stupid thing that I always do. Manage to kill this last zombie. The only zombie that is the zombie of the round and start a new round while I'm doing this. Which isn't the smartest of ideas, I'll say that much anyways. Then then he's, he's done again, clean skull, take the skull back pretty much. And I did water that earlier and uh, I think I get a good enough weapon. Now I'll head it up here and buy quick revive. Because I'm playing solo, the best thing to do straight away, first perk buy, it's only 500 points. You don't even need the power turned on, is buy quick revive straight away because that's just gonna... It's just gonna help you a lot pretty much because if you go down without quick revive you go down that's it you can't do any more runs but whereas you have quick revive you go down you get the tax uh, death and taxes i think it is i see i had it over here and opened the plant i got earlier and i was lucky and i got a mana war so pretty lucky then i kept going now here's the 115 pit where you'll fill up your bucket later so i headed back down to lab a so that's where we are now so you head upstairs and you go in here this is lab a if you're wondering and you just get the bucket of water that I filled earlier down at that water pit and turn on the power there. So that turns on temporary power for the A side of the map. So lab A is kind of on. As you can see the lights are turning on as I head down to where the bunker is. So I've headed down here. Now those are the big bunker doors that I'll be going in through later to turn on permanent power. 
uh, that's pretty simple and whenever you get the chance kind of plant seeds and just water them once or twice with blue water if you want do with three water uh, three blue water and you'll probably get lucky there's different combinations and stuff just you know later on so later on when we're getting the KT4 you'll spend most of your time down this area trying to get stuff so now that I'm coming back I was just trying to get a thousand points and I went and filled the bucket again because I completely forgot to do it when I was there so this is lab B, you'll head up through lab B and once you get to this door here, you'll just head straight through this door and there's the generator again. Pour the bucket in as usual, as usual, yes, usual, as usual and head straight back up to from where you came from to open the bunker door. Now the only problem is there's four mutated zombies and one of them will turn into a thrasher. So I was trying to avoid that process so you'll see me load the ammo at the guy that's on fire and just stop him from turning into thrasher so I have less, ha less hassle and I'll have more bullets for later on, pretty much. So we're heading in here now and you'll see on the left hand side door, this is the permanent power room so I got lucky still in the same round, round 5 and headed in down here. So you'll go down in here and this is also needed for a piece of the pack punch so you tear off the webs of the turbine. You have to stay in under the water for until you kill all the zombies that are down here, it'll spawn certain amounts so my only tip is to keep bobbing up and down and reloading remembering to get your breath and stuff. So there's only there's a limited of zombies in here that you can kill and once you kill the turbine will start spinning fully and a piece for the pack punch will fall out and you'll need that's one of the first things to do for the pack punch. Now I luckily got a death machine while I was down here. That was the weirdest thing ever. I did not expect to get it, but I did, so I was kinda happy out, just got the death machine cleaned up pretty quickly. Now you'll see here now that the thing is just after finishing, there's the piece for the pack punch and a zomb one of the two zombies ran down and then I came out and nearly got absolutely destroyed by that guy but I was lucky enough then head out and you'll see these three points there you can just see it there uh, and then you there's three points for those later on so you can do the pack punch all right now you're heading down here now you'll only spend a bit of time down here just because you're trying to get a piece of the KT4 so while you're down here with the KT4 and the shield piece is also down here but the KT4 is kind of more important. The shield is very handy. It gives you a bit of extra health. Can't get hit from behind kind of stuff. Which is pretty handy for high round attempts. Now I wasn't going for a high round attempt at the time. But um, uh, a, like, a scientist in a lab coat will spawn down here. And he'll be glowing green. Uh, it did accidentally get cut out on my recording. But uh, he'll be glowing green. You'll, you'll know him when you see him. And he'll drop a vial. Just a green vial. And you pick that up. And that's one of the pieces for the KT4 that you'll need later on pretty much so that's all for pretty much down here and I unluckily got another thrasher so happy days <sighs> so now that we're back up here I'm back up at lab A I'm just showing you where one of the other pieces for the shield is you'll see it there it's just kind of that great and has three spawn points and I missed it there like the fool I am and then I go down yay so now we're heading back in here where I think this is yeah, this is the back door. No, yeah, this is the dock door. And when you're in the power room, this is a thing here. And the zip line is here. And there's a piece for the gas mask later on. So when you go back into the turbine room, there's a door on the left that I think costs 1250 And you'll go there and pick up the skull. And I accidentally picked up the wrong skull, so I'm sad. So then that's another skull ritual area. So now on the spider on another piece of the KT4, you go back to lab A. And then there's a you lower the cage down. So this is just for one of the other three pieces of the KT4 and all you have to do is just kind of stand behind it and lure a spider in there like you do so it's just spiders are the most annoying things for this now like because you just they're so small and they're just in the way you raise the cage back up like you do classy classy kills of spiders now this kind of syringe arm will uh, go in and I think take the venom out of the spider and kill the spider while it's at it uh, just come on die spider die spider and then boom you got the max ammo get that reload then just pick up that vial and continue on for later so now we're back in here in the bunker and we head downstairs now this is the test subject room and this is the last pedestal place for the skull and this is the one I picked up earlier by accident so this is where you can build the KT4 as well and get the last piece and a thrasher spawn I'm getting very unlucky with thrashers very and then my last zombie was also down here me being the fool throwing grenades in the, my last zombie is around with all these ritual zombies now I didn't notice at the time but it changed to round 9 while I was standing about trying to finish this ritual. Now they did manage to stop me from finishing the ritual so what happens is when, the, when if they stop the ritual from happening you lose the skull for that round it doesn't come back to the next round so you're unluckily don't get it back so you can check in there. Now also to get the last piece of the pack punch is down here 
and it is in through this door and you have to do an underwater swim a bit which I think will be coming up a bit later now but uh, yeah I just fooled about didn't realize that the round changed at all so now we're back down with the turbine area and I'm just picking up another piece for the gas mask so you've seen the other piece that I picked up earlier before I hopped on the zip line down in the docks just hop back here it's kind of a tube it spawns in three areas down there I just got lucky where it was on the rock so we're now back down by the docks I picked up the other skull to finish off this ritual so what I found out to be the best tactic for this ritual, if you have a zombie still chasing, just keep running around in circles and only kill the zombies that are at the pedestal, but me being contradicting myself and shooting other zombies that aren't at the pedestal. But that's just the best way I've had to do it. Just keep running around and around and around, just keep shooting the zombies at the pedestal. Now I'm only shooting those ones because they are in the way of me trying to run around and I don't want to get screwed. So now we're back down in here, as I said earlier, that we'll be going down here. I also picked up Juggernaut right during that time. So we go down in here and there's kind of pockets and stuff here. So you can use the spore things from outside. You can shoot those to get air down here. But there was also air pockets up above. You just have to know the spots. So you hop up here. Now the last piece for the KT4 is down deep in this cave. So you move down to the cave here and you'd want to be quick the way you do this, all right? So there's the plant. There's the last piece. So what you do is best thing, pick up the plant, shoot that. Take the breath and then run back, get back as fast as you can and get into that air pocket. And that's pretty much all there. So now we're coming back here and we're making the KT4. So that's the main KT4 bench, but the other bench you see me pointing at is the upgrade bench to get the Natsume, which is the upgraded version of the KT4. I don't unfortunately do that in this video, but I'll probably get it done next time. And now we have the KT4, which we'll need for later things like the spider boss battle. So moving on in here, now this is the room, if you're coming in from the bunker on the right hand side, but you'll see these kind of pods and stuff with zombies in them, and this is to get the last piece, so you have to go around knife and all these, and eventually one of them will drop the last piece for the pack a punch pretty much. Uh, now we're moving upstairs, and I've nearly knifed all the pods in the room, and I'm losing it, like they do spawn back later on, and I did get a thrasher again, now see you see how that little golden light just dropped there. He's the last one, actually the last pot in the room, and I just luckily got it. And then I only realized I was low on ammo, and I had a thrasher to deal with. So now I'm going to triple charge the thing, it's just holding down the KT4. But if you're lucky, you can just kill off a thrasher with the triple shot of the KT4 if he gets stuck in it. And sometimes when you run through the KT4, you kind of get this this speed boost and kind of particle effect on your screen that you can see right now. It's just And then I just pick up the last piece as usual and plug it into the last spot and then you can head down into the pack punch I unfortunately don't do it in this video just you get pretty cool camos but that's how you do the pack punch now that's the pack punch done and dusted so that pretty much moved on now I'm picking up I think I go up now if I have enough points I do I go up here and I pick up the last shield piece it'll it wasn't showing up the screen but it was there all right see it's either gonna be there in a corner there or just down there pretty much that's the three pieces of the shield then I make the shield as I go on, so we're probably going to skip a few rounds on. So now we're up to round 13. I finished off the Skull of Nance Apway. All that pretty much moves is just a tree branch around there. You've seen it lying on the ground. Just that moves up, and then you go down, and you kill a few keepers. That's pretty much it. And then you get the Skull of Nance Apway. So I'll probably show it off here now in a couple of seconds. I did also hit the random box and got one of my favorite weapons, which is the Draken. So you have the two things there you can see on the screen, R1 to vaporize, L1 to mesmerize. You can see what vaporize is doing to the zombies right now. You just walk up and they eventually, it also does work on the thrashers, it just takes a bit longer. So now this is the mesmerize, it stops the zombies from moving. As long as you've seen them and are still holding it down, they stop moving completely. So it's kind of pretty handy if you don't want to kill any zombies, like if it's the last zombie on the round, you have stuff to do. You can just mesmerize them, mesmerize them and move around them pretty much, so it's just kind of easier to get around if you use mesmerize or just vaporize vaporize is good for taking out hordes so now we're down by the 115 water and you can, there's a weapon there that you shoot with the kt4 now i should have upgraded my weapon when i before i went down here so it kind of screwed me over but this is the spider boss battle and i don't finish it off because i die on round 13 right here but this is the spider boss battle and when you kill him you can pick his tooth for the uh upgrade to the kt4 and once you kill him, you can go down the cave and you get fresh wood as wine. But thank you so much for watching this video on quick tutorial to the KT4, not KT4, it's a Tsuba Mishima. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh wait, what am I saying? Like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends and I will see you in the next video.